Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce you to a cool new tool in Office 2010. Um, as you know, in previous versions of Microsoft Office, you have the ability to insert videos into your PowerPoint presentation. In 2010, that has been improved. So when we click on insert here, I have a presentation already open with two videos, but I want to show you how to add the videos. You have the option of adding um, a video from file or a video from website. To add a video from website, you click it and add the embedded code here. You can add a YouTube video without too much of a hassle. Um, but the cool part comes in the editing. So if you double click on the video here, you see we get some editing tools. I can play the video. I can make some corrections as far as, as, far as the uh, uh, exposure of the video goes. I can uh, do some colorization here. I'm going to skip uh, poster frame for last. I can reset the design. I can add some video styles. You notice here as I scroll over, and this is called live preview. So you can see what it's going to look like without um, applying it. I can uh, add a shape to the video. So to uh, find the shape. And your video looks look like you can do some video borders. You can do your video effects. So you can do reflections here also. Um, so you can add several features. And you can always go back by clicking Reset Design. Um, if you right click on the video, you get a term video option. And this is new. You can actually edit your video directly in your PowerPoint or Word document. And with this, you can choose to kind of um, cut out some frames and just use a portion of the video for your presentation. So you don't have to use the whole video. That's the first time I'm going to use this portion here. And you can just click OK. And then um, it's going to take a few minutes for it to actually cut down. Um, and uh, once it does, it will show you the frames. And it will only play um, the section that you trimmed out. Um, to this, you can also add a poster frame, and we just have to wait a minute because I think I've crashed it a few times. This is a trial version I'm using. So if I click poster frame here, I can actually add an image that I have on my desktop as an opener to this video. Um, so if you have a video that starts off with, like, you know, a black screen or you don't want it to start off right away um, with the video, you can click an image, you can add an image to um, the top of this. And I have an image on my desktop, a picture of myself and my roller. Um, so now this is what will show up on the slide every single time until um, I click play or my end user clicks play. On my second slide, I have a video that I uh, embedded from screener.com. And I'm going to double click on it. And you'll notice I get the same editing tool. But if I right click on it, I won't get the trim video. I will get some other options. Um, I get a paste option. I can preview. Um, I can change picture. I can actually add a uh, closer picture to this. So this is um, a quick overview on the newest video editing feature in Office 2010. Hope you find it useful and uh, hope you check it out when you get a chance.